starting the day off doing something that, you know, we all have to deal with. We don't like dealing with it, but returns is part of this game. So I've got a few returns. So yeah, nobody likes returns, but you know what? It's part of the business. It's something that we have to deal with. Can you put no returns on your listings? Sure you can. Will you sell less stuff? Yes, absolutely you will. So we allow returns on a lot of our items. Um, some of these coffee machines came back because people buy them as presents. We're after the holiday season now, so some people gave them as gifts and people just didn't want them. So they send them back. Our return rate is like under 4% on um, electronics and stuff and under, I believe under 2% on apparel and shoes and stuff like that. So our returns are not high and it's uh, it's the cost of doing business, right? The extra sales that we get from having returns on far outweighs, you know, having it off and not getting those sales, if that makes sense. But yeah, so what I thought we could do today, um, I definitely wanna go hit the thrift store, but I also wanna share some eBay sales with you guys, some things that have sold for us, some good eBay sales. Um, but what I thought I could do for this video, I wanna go to the thrift store i want to see if i can find some stuff to flip online and i want to explain to you the whole process of how we do this right so thrifting doesn't make up a huge portion of our business anymore a lot of what we do is buy wholesale and buy in bulk so that we can get a lot of inventory at once but we started out thrifting and we started out building our reselling business by thrifting and it's one of the reasons why we still love to go to thrift stores. And that's why we still make thrifting videos because I feel like it's a good way for a lot of people to get into reselling. And then from there, you know, who knows where it can take you. So I wanna explain to you our whole process around going to thrift stores, finding stuff, listing it in the right location, selling the items, and then I'll share with you guys at the end of this video, I'll share with you some recent thrift store sales from thrift stores to eBay, how much we paid for the item, how much it sold for, how much the profit was, so you can see the, the overall grand scheme of things. But first things first, let's go find a thrift store and see what we can find to flip online. So one of the first things I recommend is look on your local like Google Maps and just search for thrift and see what thrift stores are in your area. I tell people when they're just starting to thrift to look out for like the common chains, right? So Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army stores like that. Obviously there's gonna be more competition and the inventory might not be as good, um, but they're prevalent, they're all over the United States and it's a good place to start because you kind of know what you're what you're walking into. So start there, look out for those like chain thrift stores, map out an area and go hit like four or five in a day if you can. First thing I do when I walk into a thrift store is look for any coupons or anything on discount. So like this Goodwill has 50% off blue tag. So now I know if I find a blue tag, it's gonna be half off. Then I go to the categories that I know really well. So shoes is probably my main category at thrift stores. I love finding good used shoes to flip online. And it seems like in our area, um, the thrift stores do get some good shoes every once in a while. So I look for boots, I look for hiking shoes, I look for brands. So I'm looking for well-recognized brands like Nike, Adidas, New Balance, stuff like that. I will take a quick look in the electronics as well because electronics can be a, a quick flip online. I look in the women's shoe section as well. And this time I found this nice pair of Merrill shoes. And then in the aisle right across from the Merrills, I found this pair of Doc Martin shoes in amazing condition. Doc Martin airwear boots and they were only $10. So Merrills are cool because under the tongue, they all have a model name or a model number that you can just pop into eBay and look up to see what the sold comps are. So the comps look decent on this pair, so it's definitely a pair that I would pick up. And then I also like to look through the t-shirt section to see if I can find anything vintage. And I did find this kind of cool St. Thomas t-shirt in a pink color, which is kind of unique, but it's probably only worth like $12, $15, so I left it. Other than that, if I do have time, I'll go through the collared shirts, again, looking for the brands that I recognize, like Tommy Bahama, North Face. This was a cool Tory Richards shirt, um, this probably does have some room to make some money on it, but I, I left it behind anyway. But if you have time to go through them, sometimes you can find some good options for resale in the shirts. Okay, so I left the Goodwill with the Doc Martin shoes and the Merrill shoes. I spent a total of $18.36. I feel like the Merrills we should be able to get around $40 for, and I think conservatively on the Doc Martins we should be able to get $70 for. So an unrealized gross profit of around $110 on that $18.36 investment. And then after fees, after shipping, after the original cost of goods, an unrealized net profit of probably $50 to $60. And I'm saying unrealized because we obviously haven't listed them yet, 
they haven't sold yet. Um, so we can't count it as profit yet because they haven't sold yet. So it's an unrealized net profit. But a couple nice finds on those shoes. I hope that me taking you through the Goodwill and kind of showing you how I think when I'm looking for stuff to, to flip, um, I hope that helped a few of you guys out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually pause the video here and then I will meet back up with y'all at our warehouse tomorrow and I'll explain through the process of getting these shoes listed. Um, and then, like I said, I promise you, I will talk about some recent thrift store to eBay profit for us. So after those shoes go into our inventory and Ben takes pictures of them, he then uploads those pictures to an app that we use called Sellhound. Sellhound we use to list the shoes for us. So Ben takes the pictures, uploads them to the app, and then they work almost like a virtual assistant where they research the item, they price the item out, and then they send back a draft for our approval. Now we've used Sellhound for the past, I wanna say the past year now. Uh, we use them almost exclusively for shoes at this point. Uh, we use them sometimes for vintage t-shirts as well, but what we found is that they usually don't get the prices correct on vintage t-shirts, but on shoes, they do the research well, they price the item out well, and most of the time, I would say like 95% of the time, when the draft comes back, we just hit publish and it goes up. So that does save us a bunch of time, and it also kind of helps us not have to go, you know, hire more help and pay another employee. It's a, it's a virtual assistant. Yes, you have to pay for the service. I think it works out to something like a dollar dollar 75 ish for us when we post so it's not cheap but it's not too bad and for a lot of people like it's a good way to to get more stuff listed without having to hire more help if you do want to give sellhound a try i'll leave a link in the description of this video to the app if you use the coupon code rally roots 15 i believe you get 15% off your first purchase. And if you end up using our code, we do get a little bit of like affiliate money back from Sellhound. But this isn't me trying to sell you something. I would say try it out and see if it works for you. I'm only willing to recommend it because we've used it and sold a bunch of stuff using their service. So if you want to use it or try it out, I'll put a link in the description of this video. But like I said, what I want to do now is I chose 10 recently sold eBay listings. I thought it would be good because we were kind of talking about like selling shoes from thrift stores too. Like I found two pairs of shoes at the thrift store. So I chose 10 sales from our eBay store, the hip lion that we sold recently. Um, all of them are shoes and all of them are shoes that we found at the thrift store. So thrift store to eBay flips. So let's jump into these 10 recent sales so you can get an idea of like profit margin when you're flipping stuff from thrift stores. Okay, so the first item I wanna share with you is a pair of Vionic woman sandals. They sold on eBay for $37 with free shipping. We found this pair at a thrift store for $6, so $6 into $37 gross. So 37 minus eBay fees leaves us with around $32. Minus shipping of about five bucks leaves us with 27. And then minus the cost of goods around $6 leaves us with 20 to $21 gross profit. So before our other expenses like paying electricity and taxes and all of that stuff. So we spent $6 and we made about 20 bucks. Boots sell really well for us. This is a pair of Ariat boots. The only thing with boots is you have to be careful with shipping because obviously they cost a little bit more to ship. Usually with larger items, we'll ship with like UPS or FedEx, whatever is cheaper. And in this case, it costs us about $12 to ship this pair of boots out. So they sold for $60 with free shipping. It cost us 12 bucks to ship and our cost of goods. So what we paid for the item was also $12. So 60 bucks after eBay fees around $52. And then minus $24 cost of goods and shipping leaves us with around a $28 profit on that flip. Next up is a pair of Nike VaporMax women's shoes. Uh, we found these at a thrift store for, I believe, $7. And this pair was actually in a recent video when I was talking about um, non-paying buyers on eBay. So we ended up relisting them and they sold for $98. Unfortunately, we took the best offer for $2 under the limit for athletic shoes. So if you sell athletic shoes for over $100 on eBay right now, they don't charge you any fees. Unfortunately, we got an offer that we had to accept, so $98. So yes, we did have to pay fees on this flip. But even so, 98 minus fees is $85. And then like I said, I think we paid six or $7. So we made about $70 on this flip, which even though we had to pay those eBay fees, it's still a, I mean, that's an amazing flip. From the thrift store to eBay, pretty fast sale, 
made $70. Next up, another great brand to look out for is Hoka, Hoka One One, spelled O-N-E, O-N-E. This pair sold for $40. And the interesting thing about this pair is that I didn't notice when we were at the thrift store because we were buying a bunch of stuff, but we paid $6 for this pair and they had, they had heel wear. So they had a big hole in the back of the heel and they had no insoles and they still sold for $40. So sometimes if the item is cheap enough and if the brand has the recognition there and the price is holding, you can still get decent money for some of these shoes. So this was a $6 purchase and a $40 flip, even though the shoes weren't in great condition. So 40 minus fees leaves us with around $35. Minus about eight bucks shipping leaves us with 27. And then cost of goods of six bucks leaves us with a $21 profit. So next up is again, a pair of Ariat shoes. I showed you the boots earlier, but they also make nice regular shoes. So this pair sold for $60 plus an additional $10 shipping. So they sold for $70 shipped. So about $61 after fees. Again, a bigger boot. So it cost us a bit more to ship them. So it cost us $10 to ship this pair out. And then again, we paid $12 for these shoes. So we're looking at about a $38, $39 profit on this thrift flip. Another good sale on this pair of Under Armour boots. This is one that we had to relist a couple of times, but they finally sold for $60 and the buyer paid. So $60 after fees leaves us with about $52, $8 shipping on them. So $44. And then we paid, we only paid six bucks for this pair. So on this pair of Under Armour boots, they sold for 60, but we actually made a profit of $38 after fees and cost of goods and expenses. Another really good brand to look out for is Noble. These are like cross training, CrossFit type shoes. The brand's always done very well for us in the past. This pair, I think actually sold for a little bit less than I would have liked to get for them. They only sold for $45. I think typically we, you know, we usually get like around $60 for these type of shoes, but it was a really fast sale. So it was the best offer and it sold next day. And I only paid uh, $7 for this pair. So 45 after fees leaves us with about $39. Shipping in a padded flat rate envelope, about eight bucks. And then cost of goods around seven leaves us with about a $24 profit. Next up, another great brand to look out for is Solomon. Um, sometimes we'll find these shoes and they'll be expensive. So they'll be like $20, um, but the right models sell for really good money. So in this case, like like this was the right model of Solomon's to purchase. The model is X Ultra 3 and they were men's hiking shoes. They were also in very good condition. So we did pay $20 for this pair of shoes, but they sold for $75.99. So after fees, about $66. Again, $8 to ship those out. So $58 after shipping. And then after our cost of $20, we still made a decent profit of 38 bucks on this flip. So again, if you can find the right brand and the right model, sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more money than you're used to at a thrift store. So don't let high prices throw you off. Still look items up and and make sure that they are a good buy, obviously, but you know, don't see a $20 price tag and just throw that item off to the side because you never know. Sometimes they'll be worth $70 to $100. Another good brand is Ugg. We sell a lot of Ugg shoes and this pair sold for $50 with free shipping. We paid 12 bucks for them. So $43.5 after fees, $33.5 after shipping, and then a profit of $21.5 after our cost of goods. So everything all said and done, we made $21.50 on that flip. And then last but not least, a brand that you may not think would be worth this much money, but the brand is Crocs. And certain Crocs shoes can sell for a decent amount of money. Again, it's all about the model. So if you get the right model of Crocs, you're going to be able to sell them for a decent amount of money. So this pair sold for $42 with free shipping. We paid five bucks for this pair of shoes at the thrift store. So 42 after fees, about 36 and a half bucks. Shipping was really cheap on these shoes. It was like seven bucks. And then again, that buy cost of $5 leaves us with around a $25 profit. So $5 into a $25 profit on one pair of used Crocs. It's amazing what you can find at the thrift store sometimes. And there you go, guys and girls. That's 10 pairs of shoes that we flipped from the thrift store to eBay and we've made a decent amount of profit on them. I hope that that gives you an idea of like what brands to look out for. So when you're out at your thrift stores, you can know, okay, maybe this brand could be a good one. I saw it in a Rally Roots video. Let me at least give it a shot and look it up to see if it has a good sell-through rate. And that's our ultimate goal. It's to help you guys make a little bit of extra income on the side. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks just like this. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Ryan Roots and I will see you on the next video. Peace. Bye.